Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this GPU error that is an unexpected GPU error has occurred. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and your operating system. Click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver. So whichever is the G latest GeForce game ready driver, click on view and then click on download. And once the download is complete, run this exe file and then click on yes to allow, click on OK. And then you have to click on uh, agree and continue. Select custom option over here. Make sure that you select custom, click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. This is important. Click on next and once done restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check if you have amd card go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here i don't have amd graphic card this is just an example submit select your operating system and then install the latest graphic card driver download it install it then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box. And then click on graphic settings. Click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder. In my case, the game installed in this location. So select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card over here. Now relaunch the game. You can NVIDIA card users make a right click on the desktop, show more option, go to NVIDIA control panel and then go to program settings over here. Manage 3D settings, then program settings, then click on add. Go to the game installation folder over here. If you find the game in the list, you can select the game from here or you can click on browse over here. And then wherever the game is installed, go to, go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, bin folder, win64, select the game exe file, click on open. And once the game is added over here, now select high performance NVIDIA processor. At the bottom right, hit apply. Now you can relaunch the game and then check. Make sure, uh, desktop user, make sure that you connect your HDMI cable or display cable. Make sure your monitor is connected to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the integrated slot, not the motherboard slot, but to the dedicated graphic card slot. Now still not working, you can roll back graphics card driver. So if the latest graphic card driver is not working, in that case, uh, after selecting your graphic card, your operating system, uh, you can on, on NVIDIA page, you can click on previous version and maybe you can try uh, the previous graphic card, the older graphic card driver. But when you go for installation, make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation, then click on next. And once that is done, restart your computer and then launch the game. Similarly, if, if you have the game, like if you have the AMD graphic card, um, once you select your graphic card, your operating system, then on this page, uh, you can scroll down, click on previous versions, and then you can select your uh, operating system, and then you can install the older graphic card driver, and then restart your computer, and then check. Still not working. Use Intel driver and support assistant. Now for this, now if rollback is not working, then in that case, you can install the latest graphic card driver, and then follow the next step use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to intel website go to the official intel website and you can download this intel driver and support assistant download it and then you can run this intel driver and support assistant when you run it it will run a scan on your computer and if there is any update you will click on download all once downloaded you will see install option install all install everything and then restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to disable integrated graphic card now for this make a right click the start menu, go to device manager. Now if your computer has a dual graphic card, um, expand display adapter over here. In my case, one is Intel, another is Nvidia. So you can disable your integrated graphic card, make a right click and then click on disable device and then you can launch the game. Now once you're done playing the game or if it does not work, you can enable the integrated graphic card. So if it is not working, make a right click and then enable it or if it is working after you are done playing the game, you can enable the device once again. 
Next step is to skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, you can try window mode, lower down video settings. Now, once you launch the game, uh, you can go to options over here. And then you can, uh, first of all, lower down resolution. If this is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. Now, for this, you have to select full screen first. Accept, and then you can lower down the resolution. You can try 1920 to 1080p or you can even lower down more. So I will just select this one and then click on accept. And now you can switch to window mode. Click on accept. And you can try both in uh, VSync on and off. So in my case, it is on. So I'll turn it off and then check. And you can also lock the FPS at mid, maybe 30 or 60. So I will just uh, you know set it to 60. You can even try 30 and then HDR in my case it is already off and then apply the changes now go to graphics over here now if everything is set to like ultra ultra high uh, you can set it to very high or maybe you can try high or you can even go for medium and for my uh, I have uh, turned off this upscaling is off in my case applying changes and then You can, um, once this is done, now you can check. If that does not work, you can even reset graphics settings. If that if nothing is working, you can just reset graphics settings and then relaunch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Windows Update. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can check still not working the next step is to rename config folder now when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost to rename the config folder go to documents in file explorer open the game folder and open this config here you can see config folder make a right click and then you can click on rename and once you do this now relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try these launch options so go to steam make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click once again go to properties this time you can type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel go to desktop make a right click on desktop show more option nvidia control panel and then go to help option and then put a check on debug mode so if this is unchecked uh, you can put a check on debug mode once there is a check now you can relaunch the game Still not working, restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, go to manage 3D settings, go to global settings, and then click on restore. Yes, at the bottom right, you will see apply option, hit apply, and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, the next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, go to hardware and sound, and then go to power options. Over here, in my case, I have only balanced. But in your case, if you see a power saver option like this, select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check. You can even try balance to relaunch the game and then check. You can even try high performance. But first of all, try power saver. Still not working. Enable or disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now for this, type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings. Go to advanced graphics settings over here. If hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. You might have to restart your computer once, restart your computer and then check. And if it is already on, you can turn it off, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try. Uh, you can go to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game. Select manage. Click on browse local files. Open bin folder. Win64. Make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties. And then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says, uh, now put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that is not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. You can even try disable full screen automation, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can even run the game as an administrator and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game files. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab, and then click on verify integrated game files. 
Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. So scroll down over here, you can see x86 and x64. You have to download this x86 and x64 version. So click on it, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install, click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. Now run this x64 file as well. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. In my case, I have already installed. It's telling me to restart the computer, restart my computer. So once installed, you can restart the computer. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable Steam overlay. For this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option. If this is on, turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check. If this is already off, you can turn it on and then check. Try both. Close other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Now, if you have NVIDIA app running, you can launch NVIDIA app and then go to settings over here and then turn off this NVIDIA overlay. If this is on, turn it off and then relaunch the game. Close all kinds of overlay application. Do not overclock, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in View Advanced System Settings in Windows search box and then click on View Advanced System Settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting, and then click on advanced tab, and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box, and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed, and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM, for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system, and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's Total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16 384 me megabyte. Then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152. In my case, and then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that you hit set, and then click on OK, and then OK, OK. Now relaunch the game, and then check if that does not work. Then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings. Go to settings over here. Click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see restart option. Restart the computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings. Advance, change, and put a check on this box, and then hit apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now, still not working. Update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website. Select your model number. Like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell website. Lenovo computer, go to Lenovo website. Whichever brand you have, go to their website. Select your model number. Make sure that you select your computer, and then go to the drivers page. Install the BIOS. In case of laptop. Make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So you can just uninstall the game. After you uninstall, reinstall the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.